Hello guys and welcome back to another video. It's been quite a long time since my last video. Actually I started this channel uh, well over a year ago in uh, the beginning of 2020 during the first lockdown and I was in Spain. How things have changed because of uh, Covid. I'm actually now sitting in uh, my house in England. I've moved countries and uh, I'm suffering with Covid. So um, I'm sitting here and thinking that uh, I should make another video. So what we're going to do today, we're going to write a little bash script to show us the temperature of our CPU. And the reason that this is important to me is that I'm working on a Raspberry Pi. It's actually a Raspberry Pi 4 and they're notorious for running um, quite warm uh, on the CPU when they're doing anything. Now there's the Raspberry Pi that I'm, that I'm going to be working on is a just sitting there running it as a little web server so it's not doing any really hard work so i'm expecting the temperature to be uh, relatively low it also has an ice tower on it so that'll bring the temperature right down which is something that uh, my forehead could probably do with right now but anyway let's move on so the first thing i want to do is i want to find the um, the location of a particular file that's going to tell us on any linux system what the current temperature of the CPU is. And we're gonna find that by uh, using the CD command. This is change directory, and we're gonna to go to sys class thermal, uh, thermal zone, I believe. Sorry, typo there. Thermal underscore zone zero let's go there we're gonna do list and we can see that the temp file is here so if we cat that temp file we can see 31154 what that's actually telling us is that the temperature in celsius or centigrade of my cpu right now is 31.154 degrees Okay, so I'm going to copy this line here so that I don't have to type that out again. Control C, and I'm going to CD back into my home directory. And now I'm going to create a directory. So we're going to use mkdir, which is make directory. I'm going to call the directory term. Sorry, we're going to call the directory temperature. And then we're going to move into that directory. So CD temperature, and we're in it. We're going to list. There's absolutely nothing in there. So we're going to create a file. I'm not going to actually just create a file. I'm going to use nano and then give my new file a name. So nano is a word processing program. And if I use it and give a file a name now, when we save uh, out of nano, it'll save that file in the directory. So Let's call it temp test uh, dot sh because it's going to be a bash script. Okay, there we are. So the first thing I want to do is actually go back because um, I forgot to do something. So what I forgot to do was to find out where bash scripting is, uh, where my bash uh, program is. So which bash? This is going to tell me that it's in the bin bash okay no problem so i'll go back to nano and i'm going to put a shebang so hashtag and exclamation mark bin bash okay so now we're going to start to write the script and what we're going to do is we're going to first of all define a variable so let's call it temp file and the temp file is going to be the location um, of that little file that we read a few minutes ago that well, a few seconds ago really that said 3155 whatever it was okay so I just use right click to paste um, the line that I copied earlier and we put temp at the end so we know that the variable temp underscore file is the file path to the temp uh, folder and now I'm going to define another variable and we'll call that temp underscore O. So that's temp original, so the original temperature. And we use 
equals Okay, so what we're doing here is we're defining another variable, temp o, and temp o is going to be basically the file path um, that we defined in the first variable. And I'm forgetting something here, we're going to need a dollar sign there. So, and that tells us that temp o is going to be the content of that temp file at the end of that file path that we see in the first line. Let's define another variable, temp underscore c. Now we know that uh, the original output of that temp file was a five digit number and we want to just round it down to two digits. So what I'm going to do is uh, use a dollar sign again. I'm going to use two parentheses. I'm going to state the variable temp o and I'm going to divide it by a thousand. Finish the parentheses. And then we can use echo to show us the value of the uh, of the variable temp c. So let's do that. Temp c. Okay. Oops. Didn't know how to spell echo there. Let's try that again. Okay. So I'm going to save that, control O, hit enter, control X, and if I list the contents, we can see that uh, we have our file. And if I cap the contents of that, we can see that we have that little tiny bit of script that we've just written. Okay, but also what we can see is that it's, uh, it's white. If I list and use dash L, we can see that we've got read and write um, permissions on here, but nothing is executable. So I want to make it executable. So I'm going to use sudo super user do because I want super user permissions. It basically root permissions. So um, I'm going to use chmod, which is change mode plus x. So I'm going to give executable um, rights or permissions to this file. I just need to name the file. Hit enter again, let me clear the screen so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so let's list again with dash L and we can see that uh, we have lots of X's in the permissions here now. So everybody on this computer, the owner of the file, all the groups and uh, me have um, permission to execute this file. So it's turned green now as well, which tells me on this particular operating system, that that is uh, an executable file. So let's execute it. So use dash, no, sorry, dot, and forward slash, name the file, and we can see 31. So the current temperature of my uh, CPU is 31 degrees. Let's do it again. 30, it's gone down a little bit, that's great. So it is current and it is moving, it is changing. Yeah, goes up and down a little bit, that's great. So I'm gonna use nano again because I want to add something to this. Now because I know that we have one or two people uh, who look at the channel who are in the United States and Celsius or centigrade is not really that much use to them. Uh, they, <laughs> so they're a little bit fixated on Fahrenheit. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, do a very similar command to the, the one above this with the temp C but we're going to get another variable and call it temp f, uh, so Fahrenheit. Again, we're going to use the double parentheses, but this time we're going to use the variable temp c. And we're going to do a little bit of maths, or math, whichever way you want to say it, um, on this variable. So we're going to times it by 9 divided by 5. And we're going to add 32. And that is the formula that will give us a temperature in Fahrenheit. So uh, echo temp underscore F. Okay, let's save that out. So control O, hit 
Alter Control X. We're now out of there. We can run the file again. And as you can see, we've got 31 degrees and we've got 87. Well, it doesn't really tell us which is which. I know it's obvious, but let's go and tidy that back up again. If we go back here and we space here and we put a C and we put a space here and put an F and we save out again with Control O, hit Enter, Control X and we can run the file again. There we have it, 30 degrees Celsius which is 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And there you have it guys, a very small bash script that will tell you the temperature of your CPU. Particularly important if you want to keep the health of a Raspberry Pi 4 up to scratch. So thank you very much for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Cheers now.